Mm. Yes, yes. Apologize more. <laughs> oh, I forgot my wallet. I guess you're gonna have to pay for it. <laughs> Man, Max. I love him. I love the guy. What's up you guys, your boy Purry Senpai here and today we're going to be reacting to level 1 Demon Lord and One Room Hero episode 8. Now in the last episode they give us a very interesting plot twist to seeing that there's going to be people in the background doing something that's going to make cause a little battle that Fred and I think Leo are having. And besides that we got to see some thick plot on the last episode and hopefully in today's episode we continue seeing that thick plot with that said if you guys happen to enjoy my reaction on today's episode hit that like button if you guys want to see my reaction on the next episode hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already but that's pretty much all i gotta talk about let's hop on to today's episode all right we're back to where the explosion happened hopefully hey okay she survived nice wait Where's the other chick? Where's the other guard lady? Oh, damn. Oh, she got hurt pretty bad. You know, I'm gonna assume that they're gonna try to pin it on Leo's thing, but also like make a rumor that there's like demons in the city. Ah, Yeah, man, you gotta help your buddy out, man. She was there for you in your struggling times. <laughs> Give it a little tap. <laughs> the first aid kit, that's hilarious. Damn, honestly, she's like qualifying to be waifu for this season, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, oh, they just saw what happened. Oh, no. Uh, okay, so she's gonna confess that she got her one Hermanians to do that. Well, not the explosion, but to infiltrate. <laughs> no, she definitely went. That's what they're thinking. <laughs> Uh, wait, she brought the whole thing. Oh, uh, oh yeah, it makes sense why she would transform into in front of her. I live with my husband. Hmm. Unreasonably small. Oh yeah, she's damn right it is small. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, yeah, she's able to sense magic, right? Come work for me. Wait, wait a minute. What's going on? Yo, man, she's already trying to get her into her contract, bro. Yo, wait. Yo, someone stop her, bro. Oh, ah, there we go. There's my bro. <laughs> mm, yes, yes. Apologize more. Aw. I mean, you can't be mad at them, right? <laughs> Wait, so she's acting that she's a demon? Um, actually makes sense because if she's like says that she's a demon lord, things can get pretty bad. <laughs> Dude, the face is making. I mean, straight up, she's lying all of this, of course. Yo, you know what? I give a 10 out of 10 of the bullshit that she's making at the moment. He bought that crap. <laughs> oh. Who's calling? Is it Fred? Oh, yep, that's Fred. Uh, you could tell him the truth. I wonder what Fred is gonna tell Max. Nah, man, I don't like the way that Fred is talking to him. Like, he's thinking that L was involved with Max. Damn, wait, are you telling me that he's gonna be blackmailing him on this? Yo, what the hell? Hey, like, what's what's wrong with the phone? It's all getting statically. Wait, oh, the ghost. <laughs> On the second thought, <laughs> just because of the ghost. <laughs> Wait, who's calling him? Oh, must be the ghost. Oh, what the hell? Answer the damn phone. Yo, I'll pick up that phone no matter what. Mm. Yeah, instead of the guy that was there that was like talking to Fred. I'm pretty sure he's there to influence them to attack. Yeah, it looks like all these people are really in forward of like going to war with the Republic. <laughs> yeah, shave that beard. 
Oh, Max actually looks nice with his beard shaved. Yo, okay, that is delicacy right there. I really hope Fred like actually sides with Max. Yeah, drop dead gorgeous beauty. That is right. Alright. You know what? Fred really out thinking the what happened in that scenario. Oh wait, that's it? Nah, I'm pretty sure there's more. Yep. <laughs> Fuck. He has to do something for him? Like what? I let borrow her for the night. Wait, what? I mean, take responsibility, I guess. Wait, yo, wait, she's okay with it? What the fuck? <laughs> Not even a peek. Yeah, that's right. How are you so positive that it's actually the Republic? Wow, okay, so this is where it comes in. Yo, why are you putting this man, dude? Really? <laughs> Talk about paying the ass. Okay, that's where his knee comes in. Oh, <laughs> I see what he's doing. He's gotta be moving to the Republic. Uh, <laughs> I like how he's putting the whole act on that he's like gonna be moving away. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> I like the facial expressions that they're making. Yo, this uh, conversation went far south. That's for sure. Oh, damn. I mean, they're going to really add it for sure. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. I don't think she can hide it no more. <laughs> Oh, I forgot my wallet. I guess you're gonna have to pay for it. <laughs> Man, Max. I love him. I love the guy. What's going on? Is he crying? Wait, wh whoa, what's going on? Oh, I guess he could have handled the food. Oh. Oh, yeah, we get to see our cute tomboy gang. Nice. Oh, right. So that's what they read. Eesh. You see, Leo has faith in his pupils. Oh, it actually looks like he understands about that. Time to review today's episode. So today's episode was pretty much about Max and Fred meeting up after what Fred saw and what Max has heard and, you know, been talking about about that explosion that happened at the beer room. So far, it looks like Fred hasn't really caught on that, like, the Demon Lord is still alive. Because, you know, our Demon Lord is acting like a, just a high supreme demon, but not the Demon Lord itself. And I gotta say, this episode did get somewhat serious. But of course, at the end of the day, our boy Max, he's a neat and he doesn't really give a shit on what really, truly does happen between the Republic and the other side as well. With that said, we do see Fred try to like really get Max to join his side to fight for them or otherwise he will like say that max and the other two demons that he's with are terrorists and also another thing i like to point out in today's episode was the facial expressions it was very funny and i gotta hand it to max i mean he really sold me on him like moving to a republic if you know that means that he's not gonna fight with fred and it looks like the minister that was with fred the other time it looks like he was able to get the other ministers to you know really want this war to happen and of course it looks like it's gonna be fred that's gonna be going against leo seeing how he's the only one that's powerful enough to attack him with that said if you guys happen to enjoy my reaction on today's episode hit that like button if you guys want to see my reaction on the next episode hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already but that's pretty much all i gotta talk about it's been your boy Pura senpai and i'll see you guys in the next episode